Hi Poo Foods, this is Nessa Poo Queen of Cups Tarot. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Like, share, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Drive. So this is going to be for Aquarius, someone rising in Venus, for love on who coming towards you. Um, <clears throat> we're going to find out if this is a new person, an old person, what their characteristics is, um, and what love messages they want to tell you before they come towards you, okay? So keep in mind, these are general messages. If they resonate, great. If they don't, you can book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is and to find out more clarification and get more in depth on what you want to know, okay? So universe, spirits, and guides, who is coming towards Aquarius for loves? Okay. So we have conflict and defeat. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, shy. So we have suffering in silence at the bottom of the deck. We have conflict and defeat. We have shadow. And we have obstacles and challenges. So this is a person who even struggling to even come towards you. They might be acting like they are good in the inside. No, they're not. This person could be very, very broken. This could also be a Cancer or a Pisces. This person is so conflicted and they are so in their head, having so much anxiety that other things are falling apart for them. Let's see if this is a new person though, because I don't know if this is a new person or an old person. Clarify conflict and defeat. you okay this is this could be a scorpio as well with the tower card okay so something went on between you and this person already this person could be very stable this could be a virgo taurus or capricorn as well but something went on with you and this person it was a big blow up and that really messed them up like they that it, it made them so conflicted in their head that they was like i don't know we got it to it so bad. You could have fell out, with, had a bad fallout with this person. Yeah, with the five of cups. But you could still, you could possibly be still, you know, getting it in with this person. You could still be, you know, getting busy, bumping and grinding with this person. But if not, this person is just still very passionate about you. But they are very, very sad. Like, they are sad because of what went on between y'all. They are hurt. I just heard exhausted. Like they, they exhausted. So I'm getting that y'all. Okay, you separated from this person already. This person is from your past. Look, Ace of Wands again. This person kind of don't know if they should still be passionate about you. Or even they, if they should even still be sleeping with you, but they 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 feeling it. This person is from your past. Okay, this person from your past. They still want to give you an offer, right? But some deception went on. Something went on between you and this person that they don't. They conflicted. They got stuff coming in the way. They had natural feelings. They they suffering from this. They like they all in their head about this. So clarify shadow. Thank you. See what I say. Conflicted. Like it, it could have been a lot of drama between you and this person. You could okay. It could have been some toxic in some toxic things going on. Or it could be a Capricorn. It could be a Taurus or a Virgo. But this person is still holding on. Okay. Even though things may have ended between you and this person. 
they still holding on to what went on or the toxic type of um, energy. Others of you, if you even still with this person, they still holding on to the toxic things that went on between you and this person. Some of y'all, this person is just holding on because they just obsessed, completely obsessed with you. Like, they don't even know how to even get out their head when it comes to you. You could have had a family with this person. Y'all could be at a distance from each other now. But, or well, this person just trying to figure out, like, what they gonna do. Should they take a leap of faith towards you or should they not? You made this person happy. Ooh, you definitely made this person happy. With the, um, ten of cups and nine of cups. Ooh, this you was a wish fulfillment. So clarify obstacles and challenges. This person could have possibly feel like you left them out in the cold. You could have just like completely dropped this person. You could have seriously just completely dropped this person. And it's like, I'm done. Could have been after a fallout. See, they don't know which direction to go towards with the two of pentacles. See, look, they juggling their thoughts. Like, they don't even know if they should come and tell you the truth on how they feel. Because they so torn. Look, why is my cards all flipped over? Oh, my God, y'all. My cards is just... If I got to take them. Okay. So this person could have possibly been being a player. A little ho ho. Ho 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 ho. What do you hope? Because we got the five of swords, the lovers, the world card, the ten of pentacles, and the queen of cups. So this was somebody who could have been financially stable. This is somebody who saw marriage with you long term. This could have really been a person that you did have long term with. This could have been a person that you had a family with. And this could be, this could be a Gemini. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Another Aquarius like yourself, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. Or Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just putting all signs out there. So, yeah, this person was hurt. Okay, when it ended, when y'all ended with each other, this person started doing malicious things towards you. They started being sneaky. They started being um, evil. Yeah, this person saw, oh, they saw the happy ending with you. Okay. So listen. So what other messages do you have for Aquarius when it comes to this person who's coming towards them for love? So this was a person that you were serious about too. This was a person that you only wanted. With main female, even if you are, um, if this a man, you saw the all be out with this person too. Okay, this person want to work back on this. This person want to work. Ooh, child. This person is in love. We got the lovers. 
We got occupation and the lovers. This person want to work back on this again. Deeply. So this person could be trying to start from the bottom and working their way up to the top to even get you back. So let's see what love messages they have. What love messages do this person have for Aquarius before they come towards them? I just heard I still love you. Thank you. Let me get the other card out. Yeah, you freed yourself from this person though. Well, if you didn't, you you need to. You're about to. See, okay, this person could have been having a lot of control issues. Okay, so we got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So this person, like I said, they in two mindsets. They still, they feel like, because these are the love messages they want to tell you. They feel like. I want to work on this. I'm still attracted to you. I still love you, but at the same time, I don't I don't want to be in this no more. I don't want to hold on to this no more. I don't want to even let this stress me out no more. I have this all in my head. So I want to free myself. That's why I said they don't even know which way to go when it comes towards you. I mean, when it comes um about you. So let's see what other messages do you have about this person or just the what their zodiac sign can be, universe spirits and gods. So, um, Eclipse and Gemini, number 27, negotiation rise to challenges as a new path opens. So, this person, um, went through some changes when y'all, um, broke up, separated. Is this the thing on retrograde? Because every sign, the person that's coming towards them is a person that they were dealing with already. Like, I don't think, I, nobody knew, well, I think, like, two signs got, um, new people or new options coming towards them which is just weird what what is y'all doing to these people that they still holding on thank you or scorpio or they could have leo leo in their chart or Scorpio in the chart. So Sun and Scorpio number eight, passionate, passionate, intense, or mysterious phase. So this person, they like I said, they still passionate about you, but at the same time, they feel like they don't really know which way to go because they like I'm, I still love you, I still want you, I still want to work on this. If we give this another chance, but at the same time, no, I don't want this. I don't want to do this anymore. Like. They don't even know what they want to do they self. So I don't even know if you should even get this person another chance because they don't know what they want to do. So what other messages do you have about this person that's coming towards Aquarius? Thank you. Where'd it go? Y'all, I can't stand when that happened. Like, I lose the card that's flipped over. Yeah. What is card? Oh, okay. So, we got to take action. So, this person may actually still take action, even though they don't know what they want to do. They could be asking people what should they do. They could be asking um, for advice from other people on what they should do and uh, this person could have possibly made up their mind but i feel like it's gonna yeah i feel like it's gonna take a little time for them to make up their mind so we have big happy changes helpful people what i tell y'all they come to people asking them what should they do this person is healing with recovery and within the next few months so this person could be coming towards you within the next few months so if you want this person back, then hey, do your thing. 
let's see what advice. Oh, snap. I get it. What advice do you have for Aquarius on when it comes to this person who's coming towards them? So if I feel like once this person do a little healing, um, by within the next few months, then it's gonna be like some really good changes that go on. Uh oh. I want to close to do it like that, child. Thank you. So life changing empathy or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. So some of y'all might choose to move on and go about your way and do something else because you got other things coming towards you and you might you know you might just let this flow if they i feel like y'all gonna y'all had an attitude if they come towards come towards me they come towards me if they don't then they just don't oh well so y'all could be having that type of attitude all right so these are all the messages that I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is in the description box below. And if it resonated, drop comments down in the comment section. Okay. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on to get notified when I upload new videos, okay? So that's all I got for y'all. Talk to you later. Bye, poo-poos.